Welcome to this tutorial by River City Graphics. Uh, today, before I start, I want to take a second to thank those of you who have subscribed. Um, as you can see, I reached another milestone of 250. Um, I've actually gotten quite a few since then. Um, so I just want to take a second to thank you guys. All right, so on to the tutorial. So this tutorial is going to be an expansion of last week's tutorial where we created a custom cursor. So this time we're going to actually create an animated cursor. So use the same uh, settings as we did last week. We're going to have the action script on the first frame that says this. So if you don't have that already, um, pause the video, copy that down. And we're going to just delete these things from last week. And I'm going to import the PNGs that I have already created. So we're going to open those up. And now they're on the stage. I'm just going to delete them off and they're in our library. So the background, I'm just going to change into black so that our images show up because they are white. So what we're going to do is drag this first image out. Pretty much I have these other images and they're going to rotate around in a circle inside of this first image. So uh, following what we did last week, we're going to hit F8 and we're going to call this new cursor. And it's going to be a movie clip and we're going to also give that an instance name of new cursor. So if we do control test movie, you can see that it is working. But it's kind of boring uh, because it's just a circle with a little arrow. So actually first I'm going to position this in a kind of predetermined place so that we have consistency here. And you don't have to watch me try and position the movie clips inside of the other one. Um, it just makes it easier. So now that's in the right spot. We're going to double click and I'm actually going to position this to negative, not, not point, negative 5.9, and we're going to put this one at negative 4.2. Now, this is pretty important. Uh, last week I mentioned that I wasn't sure. I thought that it was because of uh, a little bit of pixels were out of place um, on the sword that it wasn't actually the tip um, was not actually at the tip of the mouse. Um, this is why the, there was that problem. Uh, you have to make sure that the tip of your mouse is at this little plus symbol. I'm not the one of the uh, zoom tool there, but it's actually at this little registration point that's right here. So then your cursor will be exactly at the tip of your mouse. So what we're going to do is uh, zoom back out here. I just wanted to make that point. Um, and we're going to start creating our animation. So drag out this bigger one, hit F8. We're going to call it inner mouse. That sounds good. Click OK. Double click inside of it. <clears throat> so now we're going to start actually animating this. So what we need to do is click this. Well, first we need to zoom in on it. Not zoom out, zoom in. And what we need to do is make sure we're on our free transform tool. <clears throat> click this middle circle here. This is actually where we're going to be rotating around and it's a lot easier if we're zoomed in a little bit more. You can get more precise uh, on moving your little center here. And what this is actually doing is we want it to be right where the intersection of these two points are, these two edges. And as you can see now when we rotate this, it actually rotates around that point instead of around the center. So it's going to make it a lot easier for us to uh, make a circle. So we're going to click the first uh, frame here. We're going to do copy frames. We're going to go out to eight paste frames and we're going to uh, click on this eighth frame. We're going to make sure we're still on our free transform tool. Circle around a fourth of the way. Right click in the middle, create motion tween. So now it is messed up for some reason. So let's go back and do that again. We're going to remove those frames. Oh, for some reason the middle point went back. Not really sure why. So let's drag that out there again. Uh, click on the first point and we're going to copy, paste out eight, and we're going to have on the eighth frame rotated around a fourth and there we go. I don't know why I did that before, but it is rotating now. So we're going to do right click copy, paste out to frame 16, 
and we're going to click on the 16th frame and rotate that around. All right, so now we have three-fourths of our circle. All right, I'm going to pause real quick so we can save some time, and I'll come back when I'm done with the circle. All right, I have finished the circle, so now you can see that it rotates in a perfect circle here and goes back to the beginning. So now what we need to do is make sure that it keeps doing this circle. So we're going to click on the first frame, give it a frame label of replay. That sounds like a good name for something that replays. And we're going to go to the last frame here, go to actions, and we're going to say go to capital A for and, a capital S for stop, open parenthesis, quotation marks, replay, which is the name of our frame label, close parenthesis, close, or close quotes, close parenthesis, and then a uh, semicolon. So now what that's going to do is say when it gets to the end of this animation, so I'll simulate this for you, when it goes to the very end here, it's going to say go to and play replay, so it's going to go all the way to the beginning, replay it again, and it's pretty much an endless cycle from there. So now we're going to go back to our new cursor part. And let's zoom out so we can see this a little better so we can see our ring here. And we're going to position this at another uh, predetermined area. So we're going to do 10.4 and we're going to do 18.4. So there we go. So now when that rotates, it's going to go right inside of there. So now what we need to do is create our another or our other uh, inner circle. So we're going to take out the little piece here and again hit F8 to create a movie clip. We're going to say inner mouse 2. That's kind of simple. So we're going to click OK. And now we're going to do the same thing that we have done with the last one. So I'm going to pause it and come back when that's done. All right, I am back. Um, I've made a few changes you should probably know about. Um, as you can see, it's posi positioned already. Um, you need to make sure you position it and resize it. Uh, I made two, two changes there. Um, before you actually do your animation or else you should, you're probably gonna have to redo it because it'll be a pain in the ass to uh, redo or try and fix after you've done it. So um, what we're gonna do uh, is change the size to 22.5 and uh, or at least the width to 22.5 and the height to 15. Um, I also positioned it to 67 and 34. So X is 67, Y is 34. And that's within inner mouse 2. And back on new cursor, um, I have positioned it at negative uh, 25 and 12.2. So it's kind of positioned in two different places inside of the movie clips. Uh, it's kind of weird, but that's uh, how you have to position it. Um, another thing is uh, this replay here, it's the same thing. Um, you can do that because it's inside of a different movie clip, so you can reference a different, or the same frame label, and it will reference it within this one movie clip. Um, you can also see that it is shorter here. Um, I only have it going out five frames when it rotates, um, so that will speed up the animation there. Um, I think that's all for this part. Um, oh, I also have it going in the opposite direction, so it'll add a nicer uh, effect because, first of all, it's going to be going faster than this one, and it's going to be going the opposite way. Um, another thing is when you go back to scene one here, I changed the frame rate to 30 frames per second. So uh, it'll make the mouse look like it's not laggy because uh, if you saw before, it was looking uh, kind of laggy, so I changed it to 30. Um, and it'll also kind of uh, make the animation run a little smoother. Um, so we're just going to go back into here. And well, we, we just go back to scene one. Um, now we're just going to pray that it works. So we're going to go to control, test movie, and what the heck. Um, looks like the first one rotated once and then stopped. So that's going to be an action script issue. So we're going to double click, go into this first one, go to action script on the last layer. Oh, here's the problem. It says stop and it should say play. We don't want it to go to this and stop because that's kind of boring. We want it to keep rotating, so go go to and play. So scene one, well, you, don't, you can just start it wherever you want. Uh, test movie, and look at that. It is rotating both of them inside the original 
and the registration point you can see if I move off it's right there on the very tip so that's how you get an animated cursor so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe rate and comment and I will see you next week thanks